So this morning, I thought I was gonna make a different video for you guys today. I thought I was gonna be telling you guys about how my Anchor Powerhouse 757 finally broke. I've been using it like every day. And look, I made this whole video and whenever I say Anchor Powerhouse 757, what I meant to say was Anchor Powerhouse 767 because I mean, that's not even the real name anymore. Now it's called the Anchor Solux F2000, but there's so many model numbers and they all change all the time. So just give me a break on that. I discovered that it would no longer charge with AC power. I plugged it into AC and it just wouldn't charge past 97% and I had the extended battery on top of it and that was drained down to about 50%. That wouldn't charge either. I was really confused. I looked at the app and the app said that I had the latest firmware. It just wouldn't charge. I tried plugging it back into solar panels and it wouldn't charge with those either. Wow, look at that. Oh, here it goes. What is happening? But then I remembered. When I was reviewing the C1000, Anchor had set me their beta app with that firmware on it. And that app was still on my phone and, and that app hadn't received any updates. And so I was trying to update the firmware on these units with the beta app that I had used to make the C1000 video. So it wouldn't tell me that any of my F2000s actually needed a firmware update. I downloaded the latest app and lo and behold, all of my F2000s needed the latest firmware update. And now, as some of you have pointed out in the comments, the F2000 can now power the large portable air conditioner that I have in this studio. Check it out. So now the powerhouse 757 or the F2000 can power this large portable air conditioner that previously would shut this thing down. So Anchor has definitely made this better with firmware. And I'm very happy with that. I thought I was gonna make a video today telling you about how the 757 has finally failed me and not to buy one, but instead it's an even better device now. All I had to do was update the firmware. So, if you have one of the 757s, update the firmware because then it can power more things. I know other people have said this in other videos too, but I've only finally experienced it. I thought that I was on the latest firmware, but I wasn't. Thank you for those of you that commented asking me to update the firmware because that absolutely helped. Right, if you'd like a little preview of some of the other stuff I'm working on. Renuji sent me some stuff. So we got the Lycan 5000 here. We've got uh, another one of their inverters and a couple solar panels out back. So I'll be making some videos on that stuff pretty soon. So make sure you're subscribed if you want to see that. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Peace.